hey what's up guys uh welcome to another um open shift screencast now in this screencast uh, i want to show you uh something uh that you can do in open shift uh which is basically your ability to put forward um your application uh to your local machine so for instance you just want to kind of um um work locally but at the same time using uh, forwarding the request to a uh, an installation of OpenShift uh, running in the cloud. Uh, so in this case we're going to use our OpenShift origin deployment and what we need to do is to use the RHC command line tool to forward um, the applications uh, we have um, to use the local ports if you will. So for instance uh, if you have a local installation of MySQL uh, you can go ahead and use the local client if you will and that should work just fine. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and use the RHC command line tool. So what that means is I can go ahead and type RHC um, port forward. Then I'll specify the name of the application. So in this case, let's try to put forward our Laravel application or our WordPress application in this case. All right, so for the OpenShift user, so this will go ahead and check all the ports and forward the ports to uh, the local uh, machine. So you can see here that I have a um, a local connection to port 8080, uh, which goes back to the um, um, the the IP address for the application and the same thing happens to MySQL so but because I don't have the MySQL client installed at the moment uh, I cannot show you the MySQL local command but what that means is you can also use your normal um, so you can uh, use your normal MySQL uh, clients so in this case you specify the name of the user so the user will be any other thing so if you're wondering how to get the details of your application you can always use the rec uh, show app command and you can specify the app you want to show the details for so in this case is the wordpress app and we're going to check this for the openshift user uh, this will give us the details about the wordpress application we have running at the moment so you can see here that our database credentials here the database name is wordpress the password is uh, this and the username is uh, this so i'm going to mark this i just want to show you if you are trying to connect using the um all right so we can get that we can copy that so just want to show you uh and anyway, i'm not going to go ahead and run it all the way because i don't have the mysql of uh, client installed locally uh, but of course uh, you can specify the host if you like and the host in this case will be you know local host so feel free to do that and of course uh yeah so you can specify the port in this case so it to be 3306 and if you like i can specify the password and you can go ahead and use that but because i don't have the mysql client i cannot show you this at the moment um all right so the next thing also is the uh mapping of the local to the openshift installation so what that means is i can type uh localhost colon 8080 and i will have my laravel installation uh because it's supposed to be you know forwarded locally to my application so uh okay for some reason i am not getting okay let's try this and it's not resolving Hmm, that's weird. Anyway, so um, basically what this will allow me to do is to type localhost colon 8080 and this will um, show me the kind of um, local uh, installation of uh, of WordPress. So anyway, um, let me type control C here and try to do this using the Laravel application. So I'm to make sure that uh, the port forwarding is working as expected. So Okay, so let's try the 8080 again and see if that works. All right, so for some reason I can get the local host to work. 127.0.1, 8080. All right, so for some reason it's not resolving the local hosts, and I feel that is because, uh, right, just a moment. 
And the reason why I want you to see some of these things happening is so that you can um, fix the, uh, the bugs yourself if you encounter any. So we're going to go to Windows, uh, System32, Drivers, uh, just map this here. So let's go ahead and check this. Uh, just bear with me in a moment. I'm uh, just trying to ensure that. Uh, okay, so for some reason I can't edit this. Right, so one, two, seven. Okay, seem to work and. Let's try it out one more time and see if that works. Go host. All right, so it looks like it's uh, looks like it's failing anyway. So, but uh, we can also use this to get to our application, and uh, hopefully our WordPress uh, should work the same. And. Uh, if you're wondering what happened, I don't know what happened, uh, why it's doing this um, at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and try the WordPress app again. All right, it's not working, but it worked for the Laravel application. Anyway, so um, the most important thing here actually is the fact that um, OpenShift allows you to forward, uh, you know, your remote port to your local um, port so that you can use it as if you were having the application local to your system. And uh, hopefully, if uh, you've seen how this works in OpenShift, uh, if you have any questions or comments or ways to improve uh, what you just saw, uh, maybe I've missed something. I know I have. Uh, please um, feel free to kind of suggest it in the comments uh, below. And uh, thanks for watching this, and see you in the next bit.